And 48 Hours correspondent Peter Van Sant joins us now on set. Thank you so much for being here. You bet. It's we heard, story. yeah, incredible. We heard the prosecutor in your piece call Bowman a student of murder. What could possibly be a motive to kill a complete stranger? This is one of those terrifying random killings in terms of the victim. Bowman claimed it was a road rage incident that led to this intersection. A wine bottle was tossed at him and he had to fire his gun. But investigators are convinced this was a master plan by a genius who just wanted to experience killing, that this was a thrill kill. And it's as simple as that and as terrifying as that. Peter, you know, listening to your piece there, I couldn't tell who was the wife and who was the husband because their voices were both so high. What do we know about his background, this guy? He was uh, homeschooled. He's a genius. He went to university at age 12, wow. out by 14, 15 years old, started a robotics company in Seattle. And in, in this hour, you'll see this contraption he built just for fun, a Rube Goldberg type machine that is something right out of a Hollywood movie. He was also working to create the first electric motorcycle. So he, the man was, was brilliant. How about his wife? Was she ever charged? She, she wasn't. Uh, detectives wanted uh, Jennifer charged with obstruction and rendering assistance, but prosecutors never brought charges. She changed her last name and practices as a dentist today in the Seattle area. It is absolutely chilling that somebody could plan to do something like this for so many years and then carry it out. Randomly. And he videoed much of his planning, his training, we saw that, which right? you'll so see in the hour. A little bit of the video, you see the gun. Yeah. Chilling, chilling. Peter Van Zandt, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And don't forget, you can watch Peter's full report, A Student of Murder, tomorrow night on 48 Hours. It's at 10, 9 central, only on CBS.